Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Sayyid receives Ambassador of Kazakhstan to bid him farewell at the end of his tour of duty. The Shura Council forwards the draft law of foreign capital investment to the State Council. And a lecturer from Sultan Qaboos University wins the Global Citizen Award from the Asia and Pacific Education Center. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency Dr. Ilham Haider Aliyev, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, on the occasion of his country's National Day. His Majesty the Sultan sent a similar cable to Her Excellency Sali Wok Zude, President of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, on the occasion of her country's National Day. His Majesty the Sultan also sent a cable of greetings to Her Excellency Bidya Devi Bandari, President of the Republic of Nepal, on the occasion of her country's National Day. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Saeed, Deputy Prime Minister for the International Relations and Cooperation Affairs and Special Representative of His Majesty the Sultan, received in his office today His Excellency Ergen Mokash, Ambassador of the Republic of Kazakhstan, accredited to the Sultanate to bid him farewell at the end of his tour of duty. The Ambassador expressed his thanks to His Majesty the Sultan for the support he received during his tenure in the Sultanate by His Majesty, the government and the Omani people, which enabled him to carry out his duties, wishing His Majesty good health and happiness and long life and for the Sultanate further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the Sultan. Shura Council forwarded the draft law of foreign capital investment to the State Council that came during the session which was organized by the Shura Council. The Council continues tomorrow and the day after tomorrow its session to discuss the draft laws of bankruptcy, privatization and partnership between the public and private sectors. The Council highlighted a number of topics related to foreign capital investments, such as simplifying procedures for foreign investors that enable them to receive the final approval from the government within a specified period in order to establish their projects. A project by a lecturer in Sultan Qaboos University won the Global Citizen Award from the Asia and Pacific Education Center. Dr. Khalaf bin Marhoun Al Abri won the award within the five best global initiatives to teach citizens, where his project included instilling joint global values in children, such as love, tolerance, mutual respect, protecting the environment, and many others. The project study started from Childhood Care Center in Sultan Qaboos University, which seeks to make a global citizenship within the programs of kindergarten. The project by Dr. Khalaf Al Abri was applied as an elective course within the curricula of the university and it will shed lights facing words such as wars, poverty, pollution and others. The Consulate General of the Sultanate of Oman in Australia held its annual Ramadan evening for this year. The event was attended by a number of Omani students with their families. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi. Muhammad al Yahya'i spends the holy month of Ramadan in the outskirts of Melbourne in Australia, accompanying his daughter who is studying there. At this joyful Ramadan gathering, he meets Omani youth to break their fasting together. After the prayer, 
He talks to the Omani students attending the annual Ramadan evening, which is organized by Oman Consulate General in Australia. The event included cultural, national, and recreational activities, aiming to provide a family atmosphere for the audience during the holy month of Ramadan. I want to thank the consulate to organize such events where we can feel uh, the Omani atmosphere here in Melbourne. Life in Melbourne doesn't stop in Ramadan and students have their assignments and exams even during the breakfast time. But Alhamdulillah in every uh, university here in Melbourne there are masjids where the Muslims come together and have the breakfast together and that's really good and we feel a bit at home. The attendees expressed their feelings as they spend the holy month of Ramadan away from their homeland, stressing that fasting and worship together with the academic obligations, encourage them to be determined and remember their country at all times. As a student studying abroad, Ramadan can be quite difficult uh, because being away from our family and missing the feeling and custom of Holy, uh, holy Month. Um, but we are so lucky to be a part of uh, Student Society of Victoria because they create events that make us feel home. Uh, as I say, it's a difficult but it's different experience and a great one. Such gatherings instill values of unity and togetherness among Omani students, which helps them positively in the country of study, especially that they are considered ambassadors of their country with the traditions and good morals they hold wherever they go. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi. Still to come in our news bulletin. The sixth annual celebration by the Ministry of Information in Washington focuses on tourism promotion and investment in the Sultanate. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Air Vice Marshal Matar bin Ali Al Obeidani, Commander of the Royal Air Force of Oman, received Lieutenant General Joseph T. Guastella, Commander of U.S. Air Force Central Command, and his accompanying delegation, who is on a current visit to the Sultanate. During the meeting, they discussed military cooperation between the Sultanate and the United States of America and exchanged points of view in a number of issues of common concern. The sixth annual celebration by the Ministry of Information in the United States Capitol, Washington, focuses on tourism promotion and investment in the Sultanate. The ceremony included a number of cultural, artistic and promotion activities, along with musical pieces and a documentary on aspects of a life in the Sultanate that introduced the Americans to Omani nature and heritage. On the political level, the Sultanate is well known for its global efforts to end disputes in the region and end internally, and it's one of the most stable countries which makes a great destination for tourists and investors. Aiming to revive the ancient Amani heritage, a Ramadan evening was held at Imti village in the Wilaya of Iski. The event was presided over by Her Highness Sayyida Dr. Amuna bint Fahad Al Said, Assistant Vice Chancellor for International Liaison. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan Al Rahbi has more details in the following report. As part of the artistic, cultural and tourism project in the village of Imti in the Wilaya of Izki, a Ramadan evening was held at Al Ain and the Sawad archaeological old lanes. This event actually is aiming to bring the traditional and uh, cultural concepts 
that can be represented using the, the, the traditions and also the handcrafts that will be presented by the women as well as the children of the empty village. As well as so we are today, we can see that we are celebrating our traditions and we are trying to bring back some uh, previous and best events and best traditions through this night uh, event. The event was an opportunity for visitors to experience the beauty and charm of this village and its archaeological treasures that echoed with tales untold. I was actually not sure about what I'm going to see here, but I'm really glad that I've come because it, it actually surprised me for how amazing the place is organized. Um, uh, we've seen all the Omani talents. Um, they're always there, obviously, to uh, present to us the amazing works they, they do. The evening included a number of artistic and cultural activities, including the Heritage Village, the Art and Heritage Exhibition, and the Ramadan chanting sessions. The event highlighted the prominent attractions of Empty Village, especially the authentic Omani heritage, customs, and traditions. From the Wilaya of Izki, Saleh Bakhalfan Rahbi, Adakhiliya Governorate. Here are the Ramadan times for tomorrow. Fajr prayers at 3.55 a.m. and Maghrib prayers at 6.52 p.m. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, hear the main points once again. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said receives Ambassador of Kazakhstan to bid him farewell at the end of his tour of duty. The Shura Council forwards the draft law of foreign capital investment to the State Council. And a lecturer from Sultan Qaboos University wins the Global Citizen Award from the Asia and Pacific Education Center. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the studios and the newsroom. It's good night.